name is Cece Snyder, and I'm a registered dietitian with Chemin Health. I'm going to briefly cover lutein's potential to support children's health and development. So first, in case this is a new topic to some of you, what is lutein? The lutein is a molecule from the carotenoid family. Both humans and animals cannot make lutein, so we need to get it from foods or supplements. And lutein is found in green leafy vegetables, in corn, and in eggs, for example, as well as other foods. Um, lutein is found with a compound called zeaxanthin in many foods, and interestingly, it's also lutein and zeaxanthin are also found together in the eye. You can see on the right there on the slide that uh, lutein and zeaxanthin are found in the eye. We, it's actually found in both of those molecules are found in the lens as well as the back of the eye. Uh, that's uh, that area is known as the retina. And in the slide here, we um, we have in yellow the part of the retina called the macula, and that's where lutein and zeaxanthin are found in concentration. Lutein is also important in other parts of the body, such as the brain, which I'll talk about, in the skin, in breast tissue, as well as breast milk. And the fact that it's in breast milk alludes to its importance for babies. So ideally, we all eat a healthy diet and get the nutrients our bodies need, not just to prevent illness, but also to optimize our health. For lutein, unfortunately, in America at least, kids are not getting enough. On average, children in the U.S. eat less than one milligram of lutein a day, but they need about six milligrams depending on their age and their weight. So why are kids not getting enough? And of course, you might guess it's due to the main source of lutein in our diets, and that's dark green vegetables. This data on the slide is from both U.S. Dietary Guidelines and from NHANES. Um, on the left, um, you can see that kids should eat about one to three cups of vegetables per day, depending on their age and their calorie needs. But in reality, on the right, when, you're, uh, when we know how much kids are actually eating, we find that at most kids get about only about 10% of the recommended amount of dark green leafy vegetables. And you uh, might also guess that kids and adults are very similar. Adults don't get as much as they should as well. So why is lutein so critical? Um, nature is actually showing us the importance of lutein by where it is placed in our bodies. We know that lutein deposits in key locations for the developing baby, like the brain, for example, on the left in several locations, and it deposits in the macula, like I said, as well as in cord blood in the baby. We know both the baby and the mom need lutein before and after birth. Uh, lutein is a major carotenoid in colostrum, and that's that early immune boost that babies get after birth, and it's also present in breast milk. So we want both the mom to get enough lutein um, before and after birth because we know the concentration in her breast milk is going to be proportional to her diet and her plasma. So the mom's body is making use of any lutein she gets from diet or supplement. Um, in fact, colostrum is yellow based on all the carotenoids that are present. And the last point on this slide, we know that lutein levels in a mother's blood and in her breast milk actually go down during breastfeeding. So that critical lutein is going right to the baby. So bottom line, both moms and babies need lutein. So what does lutein exactly do in our eyes? Lutein works together with zeaxanthin to protect our eyes' photoreceptors. And those photoreceptors receptors allow us to see color and allow us to see contrast between objects. Lutein serves as a powerful antioxidant, an antioxidant against free radicals. It also has anti-inflammatory properties. When we think about lutein's role in the developing eye, it's um, an interesting fact to note that children's photoreceptors are still growing until the age of four, so they're very vulnerable. And at all ages, lutein can block exposure in the eye to potentially damaging light from digital devices such as the phones that are seen here in this slide. Now, the type of light that we are most concerned about for kids and adults is known as blue light. It's the part of the visible light spectrum with, the sh with short wavelengths that are about 400 to 500 nanometers, and we're all exposed to this type of light. We get it from sunlight, from LED lights, computers, phones, and tablets. Lutein, as part of that macular pigment in the eye, it, it actually functions to block blue light that reaches our eye. To give you an idea how prevalent digital device use is with kids in the U.S., Kemen and DSM recently conducted a national study of parents, and we asked parents whose kids were 6 to 12 years old if their child ever had negative health symptoms from digital device overuse. 
Uh, digital devices were defined as computers, phones, and tablets. We learned that 71% of children in this age group, and again, that 6 to 12-year-olds, uh, those kids are experiencing some symptoms of digital device overuse. Uh, the chart shows all the symptoms that were reported. At the bottom, you see the tired eyes are reported uh, for over half of this age group. So it's definitely a widespread problem, and the topic of blue light protection from lutein fits a real need. Uh, now I'm, I'm going to move on to the brain. The brain, um, there's a connection between the eye and the brain. They're uh, physiologically close, of course, as organs, but both organs need lutein. Lutein is measured in the eye, and that measurement, the amount of lutein in our eye, can be correlated to the amount of lutein in our brain and also with cognitive function. New research in just the last year shows how lutein supports cognitive health and also supports academic performance for children. So uh, we can measure the lutein in our eye, and that measurement is called macular pigment optical density. It can be easily measured at a doctor's office, like an eye doctor, um, and um, that gives us an idea of our brain lutein status as well. So macular pigment optical density, it's a very non-invasive measure. It only takes a couple minutes, and we can measure both our eye and our brain um, lutein status. And for parents, um, the whole topic of the brain and lutein, it just gives us another reason to get our kids to eat vegetables or if they can't get all the lutein they need from, from vegetables to take a lutein supplement. And the reason is academic performance. All right. So ideally, we would all eat a balanced diet with plenty of fruits and vegetables. Uh, but when adults or children can't get enough lutein from our diet, supplements are definitely a proven method to fill the gap. In fact, um, you know, we have a chart here that shows other sources of lutein. You actually need three cups of fresh spinach each day as an adult to meet the recommendations for lutein. Uh, Floral lutein from Chemin Health, it's really ideal for kids because it's the only lutein brand that's clinically proven safe for use in infant formula, and it's the only lutein brand that's grass or generally recognized as safe for infant formula. 